Welcome to the cemetery's meeting for, the, for April 24th, right? We got the right date? 2018. 26. 26. 26. I tried. Uh, <laughs> too many meetings. Uh, yeah, we've had three meetings this week, guys. So. Uh, all right. You may open, Mr. Steve. All right. Um, someone forgot to make copies of the agenda and the minutes. Um, open I'll, have, I'll have a talk with him later. <laughs> yeah. um, so, but I do have it on my phone because, yay, modern technology. So, um, Everybody had a chance to read the meetings from uh, the minutes from last meeting. Um, so we're going to go into old business. Um, flags and flag holder purchases. I did place an order a couple weeks back with, uh, with the town hall. Um, and this is, there was only one discrepancy. Um, you, you had told me about some uh, discontinued items, we, some flag holders that we could get cheap. Um, and I placed an order. Uh, for some of them, and they were only had one of one on of the Vietnam one, so I ordered two more from another, another place. But if you want to, that's what's coming in. Um, they're going to come in, in here to town hall, and they'll get a hold of me when stuff's in. Um, I'll, actually, I'll check with them afterwards, see if we got anything. Um, the first batch of flags that are already restapled or double stapled are in the truck if anybody wants to get some of those tonight. Um, and I did buy staples, I think, before last month. So you got reimbursed for them? Yeah, I was only like, yeah. Um, so, the next item is the budget timeline. So, what's the next? Is it June 16th? Is the next? Next one is June 16th. Um, it's up to you guys if you guys want to be there or not. I mean, between Roland and I, we can handle it. But you what are guys you talking are about? Town meeting. It's June 16th. Oh. It's up there, to you. there shouldn't be any problems no. with, as far as what we requested. Um, you know, you can be there if you'd like, you know, if, you know, it's not really, you know, something that you really, you know, need to make sure that you're absolutely there, you know, but, I've probably, uh, I've probably got to work again. But if you, but if you guys are going to be there, try to let me know a little bit ahead of time so I can get at the beginning. So if you guys need to talk, I have to ask for permission from the town. Kind of yeah, before the, the meeting starts, the, the, uh, uh, moderator for the meeting always, you know, Makes a little spiel about, you know, we may have some people who are not residents of the town who may need to speak, and then he'll tell, you know, this person and this person and that person, uh, you know. We have to and, show you a green card at the door. Uh, no, it's, <laughs> Maybe. you know, unless somebody has, unless somebody has an objection, you know, which normally they, they normally have, you know, they, they, I can't remember anybody ever objecting, so. But that, that, that's up to you guys. But if you do decide, just let me know. Both Wallace and I will be there, I'm sure. No, my, my eyes open. Oh, shut the job. <laughs> be nice. I am nice. That's why I'm here. This is the third meeting we've had this week. This is a good day. Sure. <laughs> same Yay, place, same time. <laughs> almost the same place, mm. sitting. Um, town email address and website. That was probably more on Jay, unless you have some. Uh, I've got it. <clears throat> so we had to visit Jen last week because I couldn't get anything to post. Um, so she had to go back to the web designer or maintenance guy. And he got at least our committee members and our mission statement up there. But I am still having trouble uploading photos. And it gives me an unknown reason, so I have to go back after our meeting and find out from Jen if she can have him look at that again. Okay. Well, I know at one time, and I don't know if the town's going to do it this year, next year, whatever, they're talking about upgrading the website itself because they are having other issues, I guess, with it. But uh, a lot of it's cost, mm. so I'm not sure if that's in their agendas this year or not. I don't know how that yeah, it seems to me it's probably just a human error thing. Probably. And, and if he got at least the words to come over, mm. then it just must be some cyber yeah. talk, blah, some blah, glitch. that I have no access to and don't understand that's causing it to do it. So once we get that all up and running, then we can start posting photos. I'm hoping we get it up and running, stop doing photos, and probably our minutes anyway. That way we've got double copies, because yeah. if anything ever happens to the photo cop, the photos being taken, at least we have on our own. So that'll kind of help us too. Yep. Okay. So that's the status of the website. It's about 50% up. 
<laughs> Actually, I went on it just for giggles because I had I forgot what time Jen opened today, and I happened to see where it says cemetery. Oh, she said, oh, somebody did something because I know she said she didn't want it up there until we were ready to put something. She had it up there, but before when I was having the problems, when you clicked on it, it just gave you this cyber jabber. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's on. I haven't looked for it. Um, it's on the town. <coughs> it's on the website. Town. So yeah. Acton. Go Acton dot org. .net or something. Yeah. No. no. Org. It's org. Yep, it's org. Yeah. org. All right, I'll. And I'll then, <coughs> if you when you go, it's on the it's on the left hand side, far left. It has a listing of different or, different. It says cemetery <coughs> spelled wrong. I didn't <laughs> know how to spell cemetery. I always spell A R Y. Have anything to do you, with that? You ought to see how we spelt it down at Maple Grove. <laughs> All A's. Cemetery. Yeah, but I didn't, and I didn't go and I didn't go to the signs. <laughs> That's the act in education. Shh, you're not from here. <laughs> um, I went to act in elementary school. That's true, that's true. Hey, hush, hush. <laughs> um, the next agenda item is, is a little controversial, too. It's uh, the Newfield Murders presentation. Um, I've talked to everybody here. I've posted up flyers. Uh, we have Virginia, right? Yes. All right, Virginia's going to be actually our uh, videographer, uh, or whatever you professionally call yourself. I don't mean to offend you if that's... <laughs> Okay, um, so yeah, May 5th, 1 p.m. at the Historical Society on Route 109. We tried to get into the old Grange Hall, but it's not ready for public uh, utilization. utilization just yet. So well, we'll get there. We're getting there. Um, yeah, so I've been in contact with the lady that wrote the, the article in the paper. She wrote, a, wrote one in Sanford News a few years ago. So this is there's a lot of hubbub about this. Um, a lot more. A lot of, lot, lot of interest. A lot of interest. There is a lot of interest. So we're, that's why one of the reasons we wanted to tape it, because some of the people that have approached us, unfortunately, like some others have to work. And I thought, you know, if I could get approval for, for the taping, it would be really great. That way it gives them the opportunity to. Well, being as it is being held at the Acton Shapley Historical Society, that, that makes it a video town that we can post on evolution. our updated yeah. website. So, I like that. I can figure that out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll get that. Rome wasn't built in a day, neither was Acton. All right, that's that. Uh, <coughs> you guys, uh, that the, before the beginning of last month's meeting, we all, most of us went out to the little town green over here, or, or what do you guys call Village it? Green. Village yeah. Green. Village um, Green. And Memorial Area. And uh, not sure who mentioned, who brought it up, but. Someone said, you know, we need to clean this up because it's not looking so I, pretty. I believe I opened my mouth and said that. All right. That and, I we put a, and we put and a rake in his hand and did I it. I think right. you ended up coming up here prior to us actually doing the cleanup. Yeah. You because there a was a, I was looking for a specific tree limb <laughs> that you obviously <laughs> must have removed. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's going to bring but it back. No, now. That's, that's quite all right. <laughs> now, we had enough. Of the other stuff that was, and we actually had there. a gentleman that I didn't, I don't know, I don't know if Jay got to know, but he actually is part of the, yeah, told him the maintenance per, up here at the at the church. I thought you knew him. I didn't know. Him. I honestly figured, he, oh, he, she must have called him. No, and he happened to see us down there, and he offered his truck, and that worked out really great. Yes, it yeah. did, because we did not bring enough bags. <laughs> no. It would have taken forever with my little cart. And taken even if we just stuck it in the back of my truck, it would still have taken a while. So. Um, so did you guys, I know we swapped out the flags like before that last meeting. All but two. All but two? The two on we the far side because of the way the holders are. Those are those old holders that don't let water out. Oh, that's right, that's right, yeah. So, um, I don't have a drill with me, so yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna once those new new holders come in, we'll swap those flags out. Right, and well. if that's if they're not not if they're not cemented in because we, the other ones are kind of. Yeah. And then the other ones where the holes were don't have holders, and we discussed no. that. And we got two World War II um, holders coming in. Um, and for those who don't know, the two Holdsworths on the plaque up there, it's a it's a son, a son and a stepmom. So the stepmother was a, like a nurse, an army nurse or something, um, and then the son was just regular 20s or whatever age. Um, so the mom was, was, the stepmother was a few years older. Um, but she, she, she was a colonel of some sort, wasn't she, Tracy? I thought it said captain or yeah, something like that. Yeah, it she was, was a higher rank. She had, a, she had a, 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 not necessarily an 
upper echelon rank, but she had a decent rank, mm. you know, and uh, you know, so she should be, she, you know, I mean, there is a plaque up there. It's at the base of the, the okay. flagpole, or, you know, fairly close to the base of the flagpole. And, you know, we should honor that with, you know, some plaques. Yeah, for both of them. and I didn't realize it was there, to be honest. I thought that was something to do with the, well, probably There's has something to do with the church, but I thought it really was something to do with the church and not this memorial area, so that's <coughs> part of my fault also, I guess. There's a lot of things that we found out. Yeah. Um, are you still running, or have you? Well, he's running, but I got a clarification on that. I asked Jennifer if he actually got selected, if he had to come I off this committee, and he doesn't have to. Really? So he gets to stay with us and play. He can be our rep, rep, town representative. Yes. 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 yes, I am, but I, I don't know, you know how that's going to fall. have to wait and see June yeah, 16th. Yeah. There are three people currently running. So you have the incumbent, uh, myself, and another, another gentleman um, was able to get his paperwork in. So there are three of us. So, okay. So either way, you're going to stay here, right? Yeah. Well, we'll get to that. We're not. We're 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 we're, we're not at a point that we need to discuss that Trust right me, now, you Steve. Need to if you're, you can't tell if, me you didn't have fun Saturday when we were out there. You can't tell me you didn't have fun in the gopher holes and all that stuff. Last I time. have fun everywhere I go. <laughs> through the woods. No. Until you actually do some of this stuff, you know, you don't have any concept. No. You know, I didn't really have any concept until, you know, we actually started going to look at some of the, I'm not sure what kind of verbiage I want to attach to them. Uh, Interesting you know, ones. No, I mean, you know, you, you, know, you mm, got the, right. you know, you have some cemeteries that are located in a, in very, um, out of the way places, mm -hmm. let's put it that way. And you know, <clears throat> years ago when the cemeteries were, or you, you know, first established and people were first buried, you know, guarantee you that the terrain did not look anything <laughs> like yeah. the terrain looks now. And you know, when you start, you know, hoofing it to some of these places, like the place down, uh, what is it, Rogers? The Rogers Cemetery. Rogers Cemetery, the one that's out on the end of the H Road. Has he? Uh, yeah, the Huzzy one, uh, you know, the guy that's across the street, which we still haven't talked to. Uh, what's his name, Palmer? Oh, at the the, at the T intersection is. Yeah, it's oh, you know yeah. he's got he's got like maybe a four four burial plot. Yeah, I talked know, to thing. him. I met him. Last uh, year. That Lois said that his father is actually buried, or his remains are actually buried um, outside of the. Yeah. Enclosure. He actually has talked to him. I have not. We've got one more to find. And we still got to go down and find that one for. Um, now that the ticks are out, we'll go look. Yeah. Oh, yes, they yeah. are out too. We have one. We had, and I knew out of all of them that this would be the hardest one to find because it's not, so you can see it from the road. You've got to go in farther. And I, unfortunately, it's between two homes. I'm going to see, who, uh, maybe we can stop and see who lives in Catherine's old home. Because it's, you notice where there was ATV trails out there? Maybe one of, maybe somebody who's actually been out there ATVing could tell us a little bit more. I haven't been able to see the other two people that used to go out there at one point and actually put them out at this time. I don't know if you've spoken to either one of them. But that's well, we the have, only one I, I knew I would have a hard time finding. We, ha we haven't been to several other ones oh there's a lot oh, i know except for the one and the, oh yeah the other ones we have to go to is on town farm room we'll have to try to find them yeah being as that is a topic of uh, hot discussion of late you know as far as they want to uh, um, there's a, a piece of the land that the town owns obviously um it i can't remember how big was it I don't really remember, to be honest. I can't remember how many acres, <coughs> but uh, they want to do a uh, a forestry management plan for that. In fact, there's an article on the warrant uh, requesting funds to do that. Um, 
you know, and the the uh, <laughs> town forester um, thinks that there might be a hundred thousand dollars worth of timber that can be harvested, uh, and that's another different subject because <laughs> the forestry slash conservation committee wants to any proceeds they want to go to them, and I don't necessarily agree with that. So, but that's a different topic. But there, uh, but, but there are supposedly there's at least well uh, we know what one set is and that's the the um, Gilman Gilman Brothers yeah we know where that is it's the ones between there and there's heading two or down three towards more. yeah I heard they're yeah. pauper cemeteries there yeah. really were were no markers boundaries no, the foot. So, what do you propose so, to do once you find them are well, you well all we can, like all we can do really if if it's something of that nature where all you have is uh, field stone, mm -hmm. basically, yeah. then, you know, probably the most we're ever going to be able to do is just um, Tape it off annotate it, you know, via GPS, the, the location, you know, and, there's two, and, you know. But you have to mark it. Well, I have a cousin they go in there, who said that he knows well, where these are located. Well, that's another point. I'm hoping that I can get a whole, he, he was out there on ATV, I'm hoping <clears> that I can get him to either take the follow the back of his ATV and go out, or turn around and if it isn't too far to walk out from where we at, because you're talking from Gilman's That's to like three Town or four miles. Farm, would be the first time. Because yeah. the school walks, it. the little kids can we can't be too bad on it. I know you and I went halfway down before I realized we were on the road. Wrong yeah, road. you were on the wrong road. You were thinking the other one, but. Yeah, that one there, and he says he, he knows where they're at. I'm going to see if I can't get him to either yeah. map them out for me roughly or <clears throat> or at least try to get out there to see. I'll try to look at some old maps too. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking because the 1870 map shows a lot of the older cemeteries we had. When uh, when was this town farm or pauper farm? When was I that? I want to say it was the same time when all the like Gilman's and all that was developed, if not within the same range, because um, I remember I, I remember Aunt Olive going out there and putting out flags and checking it out because that was her job then, and that was over 20, 30 years ago. Well, she lived right there. So well, yeah, and, she, and, she, and she could just walk out of her. And I know it's on both, mm -hmm. sides on both sides of the road. One half of it is on one side, and the other half's on the other side. So it's on both sides. Now, whether they're directly across from each other or there's an angle there, I'm not sure. We need to kind of find that before they decide they want to log it. So when at least get it cleaned up to a point where it looks like a cemetery, well, so you can't at, do anything. They are, they, you know, they can't do anything until, until after the, the town meeting in June, and. Uh, Per the forester, um, he figures that uh, the uh, management plan should be developed um, by late fall, early winter. Because they're talking about, you know, we got to go out and, you know, see what's out there as far as timber, see what's out there as far as uh, habitat, you know, um, animals. Uh, Ground, whatever's you know. I mean, and you know, basically look at that and develop, you know, something to let the town know. Okay, this is what you've got. Now, what would you like to do with it? Okay. So I don't anticipate that uh, much is going to happen on the town farm road until, next fall. until next uh, yeah, I, I'd say it's a year out anyway. So, uh, I That's just a guess, but I would say, you know, it's probably close to a year out before they even think about, you know, um, saying, well, you know, okay, there's $100,000 worth of, of timber out there that we can harvest. Uh, let's go get it. Yeah, because the, you know? the other thing with this town farm road is it's got a closed road, so this is another... <clears throat> well, you have two ends of the town farm road. Yeah. Well, they're you both closed. One, I know. <laughs> the road is closed, yes. Yeah. You got one entrance right next to Jimmy Driscoll's, which is washed out, you know. Mm. And then the other entrance is as you are coming up Milton Mills Road, and you go past uh, Peck yes. and whatever, 
and uh, there is an entrance that kind of goes in this way and then it's the it's this way. What that looks like, I have no idea. If you once you get down, no, but once you get down over the hill, yeah. it's just as bad as it is yeah, coming up. But that, that entrance, I mean, I go in there. Yeah, well, the entrance didn't look too bad, you know, just from the road, it doesn't look too, too bad. You know, but again, you know, once you get, you know, 50 feet down the road, you know, what does it look like then? So, you know, they, they, they've got a lot of work to do uh, before they be able to do anything as far as doing any cutting in there. A lot of work. Number one, you know, it's got to be accessible. You can't just, okay, bring the skinner in here, we're going in. Yeah, the trees you know. are this far apart. You know, <laughs> um, you know, and you have to remember that, you know, there are people who, we might own X number of acres out there, but there are other people who own property on that town farm road, and you can't regardless of whether the fact that the town farm road is closed or open, okay? Yes, you might have an easement. You might have a right of way, but you can't destroy what's there. In other words, you, you, you can't destroy it and you can't, you can't fix it. it. And you can't improve so it. So if you're driving in there with a skitter, <laughs> uh, I don't see that happening without, you know, and you can check those laws out on the state of Maine statutes. Those yeah. are actually statute laws, so they're not something that I've made. So up again, you know, it's 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 something that's not going to happen. <clears throat> you know, I definitely mean, not going to happen. Probably in a year, it may be you know two, three, four, five years down the road. You know, there are a lot of things that they have to do to get to where they want to go. But obviously, the sooner we find them, the better off we'll yeah. be. Yeah. So. Yeah. Because what else then we can, like, and like you said, we can have it GPS and yeah. I mean, yeah, if we could, if we could at least get out there and you know, okay, we're on the corner. Beep. Yep, got them coordinates. Yeah. You no, know, yeah. I mean, you know, even clean what's there. Because I'm going to try to find out for my cousin if it's easier to go in on the Milton Mill side or on the Sambo side. Which way is the least? Well, distance? if it's if if it's been any amount of time at all, you know, as far as you know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years since anybody's been out there. Lord knows what you could be looking at. My, my grade, it, was, so. it, was, it hasn't been open in years, and the Patriot Storm washed it out. And then after that, they, they kind of closed it down. But um, I think my, well, my aunt's been gone ten years roughly now, so it was before she even passed away, so probably twenty years, thirty years. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, if it's been, you know, that much time, Lord knows what we're going to find. Yeah. If we find. <laughs> well, we're more likely yeah. to find. It's just so. what we find, I guess. Okay. Uh, next item is ground cover. Oh, yeah. Yes. We talked about two different kinds of ground cover. You guys wanted to know if it was poisonous and how much it costs and blah, blah, blah. So... I found out that neither the phlox nor the periwinkle is poisonous, so that's good. That way we can put it on people's property without poisoning their kids and their pets. So. Now, being as being as phlox is a um, here I am. I'm looking really pretty today. You know, like three, four weeks. You know, once you get beyond that, it starts to die. But then it's just green like grass. And the nice thing about it is you don't need to mow it. That's true. <laughs> That's kind of, that was kind of my goal. It's, a, sort of one it's no, a, no maintenance. Right, a maintenance yeah. free and, kind and of ground. Periwinkle. The periwinkle is similar. It has and a bloom time of a couple of weeks. And then after that, it's just a shiny green, evergreen Which ground nice. color. I think I like the periwinkle. Well, there's the phlox prefers sunshine. True. So True. Yeah, that's depend that, yeah, I do on what you've that. got for a ground conditions. Right. Obviously, it's not going to do well if it's in the middle of 10 acres of land that's all forested. Now, what about the periwinkle? The periwinkle does well in shade, but it can also thrive in sun. This is the invasive one. So once you put it in, you so want to make one. sure. What's that? So either one it will do shade or sun. No. Um, 
the, the flocks. The flocks will do shade, but it prefers. It prefers. Right. But what I was getting is the periwinkle can, can flourish either way. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Um, but the periwinkle, periwinkle, you probably want to put it in an enclosure, like a rock wall. Because it will spread. Yeah, it will. You know where it would be an excellent place to put, the, especially the periwinkle? Over there on um, Milton Mills Road, right behind the Phillips. It's the, the one that the town actually owns that we oh, have. Oh, yeah, that was what we were talking about, it's right? it's all stone. The around. Watson one? No, that's not Watson. That one's uh, no. Stacy. Stacy oh, okay. Smith. Up. Yes. Going up the hill. It's all, it's all uh, stone. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, I thought that had periwinkle in it. No, I've cut, I've cut that grass. It's got that, so little, red, that little uh, red bead stuff I okay, call it. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah. Grouse berries. Yeah. yeah. So Partridge what, berries. What did we come up with as far so as what, prices? Anyway, so I got off on a tangent. Um, I found prices on directgardening.com, which is a website. Mm -hmm. You just mail order through them. Um, you can get a dozen of the flocks for like five bucks and a couple dozen of the periwinkle five bucks so it's one's a little more expensive than the other yeah, but the flocks. Mm, depends on what we want to do you know yeah. how many different variations we have we have more sunny graveyards that we need to cover or shady well, we, ones we, we probably need to assess the different uh, yes. different places and say you know like uh, um, what's the one that we were approached by the gun toting oh, individual? Yeah. Oh yeah, you that know. was that was um, uh, up on the that, that's that's a that's shady Farnham slash that's a, horn. Yeah, that's right? a that's a shady uh, area, which you know I wouldn't think that we'd want to put flocks no. in something like that. But no. we need to go, you know, we need to go to everything that we've located. And unless we've already, you know, unless we already know, you know, what the conditions are at each site, you know, then we can make up our mind as far as, okay, we need to do, you know, X, Y, and Z of uh, flocks, and then we can do, you know, H, G, and K of, and don't make fun of my alphabet, <laughs> <laughs> with the uh, periwinkle, you know. And you know, I mean, that's this. This is going to be an intensive uh, endeavor. For My us. biggest thing is, especially out in the woods, you know, we need to right. This um, will definitely be an, an intensive endeavor. I mean, you're talking if we, you know, if, if we if we're talking just in general for conversation's sake, uh, eighty damn cemeteries. <laughs> that's a lot of work. Right, right. It's and not something we're going to accomplish, you know, in one year probably won't get accomplished in five totally no but, but we can start working yeah exactly and not every one of them is going to need something true There's some that are just perfectly fine yep. one, the cemetery at the end of the man road that's fine yeah it's got grass yeah it's because, they got, because you don't they, need to do anything they, to they that. take care of them. well that and you know it's uh, maintained it's pretty good heavily neglected <sighs> ones that we have to take like years of leaves off then you're left with bare barren ground so you've got to cover it with i'm something. not trying to say this or but bob <coughs> man came up to us when we were actually out front and he said i have some stones over there can i remove them no they are the foot stones mm. i almost you know, had those, a heart attack you, you, you know the the unmarked uh, flagstone. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we talked about this, and he has done this before for people who have cleaned up their own um, family cemeteries or graveyards on their properties, do doing both Phlox and the Periwinkle. Um, he also showed me the size of the plants that he has, which are like the, I don't know, is that four inch pots? And they're about six inches wide. He said, in a year, this season, it will double its size. So to give you an idea of how much, how many of the plants that he sells that size, it would take to put like for Watson Cemetery. Because if we, we have the measurements, it's 10 feet by 10 feet, yeah. you get 100 square feet there, then you have an idea, okay, well, I'm going to need this many hmm. plants. Um, so it's also going to be a little bit of a math thing. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I ended up ordering some. Since I couldn't figure out how big these plants were going to be, I, um, I ordered some. From the uh, From website. this direct gardening. I ordered the periwinkle, which I ordered 25 of those, and I ordered a dozen of the flocks. Um, so we'll, when they do come in, I can let you know. Um, Definitely. And if it's something that's worth starting with, we can start with the little ones. If not, I spoke with the guy at the greenhouse, and he said he would be willing to work with us if we wanted to say, okay, in June we're going to need X amount. Mm -hmm. What can you do for us? And he can get those ready for How us. How much roughly are those there? We there didn't go over the prices because he, he said go back and find out how much how yeah. big these plants are that, you know, we're talking about because, yeah, for five bucks I'm getting a dozen yeah. um, flocks. Yeah, but, but how big are they? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I can get a dozen, it'll cost more from him, but it's going to take a lot less yes. of them yeah. and a lot less time to cover that ground in that cemetery. Because any of the six cemeteries that we decide to cover that the town owns, um, we could actually take them out of that, but out of the town, yeah. out of the budget we have that's for them six. You know what I'm saying? In other words, we can just we can look at those six if we had to, like this year, and decide what we want to do with them. Because my biggest thing is, is we even in the future, we've got to get it set up so that the town can find cemeteries. That they don't have to put a lot of maintenance into them because obviously, even running a bit larger cemetery than I do, it's tough sometimes. People don't want to do it for a certain amount, and then when they do, it's, you know, the season usually is from April to October, depending on the snow, the weather, and so on and mm -hmm. so forth. With these six cemeteries, we're actually supposed to take care of automatically. These six are something we have to we do automatically. We, the Maple Grove, or no. we, the town? We, the town, we the of town. Active. Right. Active. So Grove the town ones are maintained. These six. Pass them over. They, they have they them. Have to maintain them anyway if there's a regimen that they go through where every month they mm -hmm. do they certain aren't. things. These six are already deeded to the town. These are the six that we are actually still responsible for even on top of the rest that we have. And the, and the interest we can use from them to do those six particular cemeteries. Now another thing, another point that this owner of the greenhouse said, he says, it doesn't matter what size these plants are. If you go and put them in the cemetery and then nobody maintains them, you're going to lose 50% automatically because they're going to need some sort of tending you for the just first... Drop, you can't just drop something in the ground them, right. and say, yes. ah, we're good. So again, going back to the town, if they're supposed to be maintaining it mm. and they don't, and we go in there and we put a whole bunch of plants, regardless of which one, mm. and nobody goes in there, you're still going to lose 50% of your plants. No, are we really talking so. like fertilization and, and new soil? or The basic that? watering. I mean, both of these are hardy. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of fertilizing that needs to be done or okay. know, turning them back or anything like that. It's just making sure that they establish. So you never know. You could plant them and not get rain for like two weeks. And You could plant 20 plants and a week later, every one of them plants could be dead. Yeah. And, and once, you, you know, critters, once you've done that, the deer you know, love to you're eat. sitting there going, oh, now what do we do? Yeah. Well, I was yeah. also thinking these six would be an ideal... Test testing. These, these would be yeah. ideal for testing. 
It'd because be some are in the woods and Coach some Jay. of them are on the. Um, I think uh, the herd one does have stuff there already. I wouldn't surprise me because Sue and Mark take good care of that, considering it's our great grandparents. Right? No, 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 not that herd. The uh, Delia herd. Oh, the other one? No, the town. The town didn't put anything there. It might have ground. It might have ground cover per se. Yeah, the yeah. little, the little, the little red berry things again. <laughs> The partridge berries. Yeah. But I, we'd have to recheck that one, and that's half. Yeah. Stacy has partridge berries because I remember mm -hmm. some of them were tea berries because we. I remember when I was little, we went and ate some of them. They're good. Well. All right, now I gotta update you. my record here that Jay did show up. <laughs> <laughs> made so a anyway, grand entrance. They, yes. they are on their way. I don't Do know. Do you want? If you want to be reimbursed from that, let's just, find out first. Okay. I'm, you know. Well, don't be spending too much and then not ask for that. Ten bucks. Okay, I'm just, just saying. Ten bucks and ten bucks. Yes, that's yeah, why I printed that. Yes. I did print this to. out beforehand. And, um, I ordered personal, too, so I mean, I'm not going to charge for full we for can the shipping. We deal with that. Yeah, after. well, when they come in, I'll let you guys know, and we'll have a look and see if that's something. We can put them in pots and we can use them as needed. Mm. Or you might say, oh, they're too little, and then they end up in my garden. <laughs> now that Jay has made his grand entrance, um, the stump grinder and trailer update. Have you done any research on uh, uh, I've been some? looking for an expensive stump grinder. I had found some earlier. They were all sold, so I'm looking for okay. more. The, um, I'll be talking with the uh, group this weekend about the trailer. Next one. That's it for old business. New business. Um, you guys were asking me last time about a, a volunteer list. Um, I do have uh, the homeowner, property owner um, listing. It's I don't know, like 10 pages worth or something like that, probably more, um, with with all the pertinent information that I can ha that I can get, as well as <coughs> who is nearby on that cemetery or who wants to help out with that specific cemetery. So if like um, someone takes care of maybe a couple cemeteries, their names might be on there twice. Um, so I do have that. I didn't print it out. I might have it in here, but um, I will email it to everybody. That'd be um, good. And as uh, uh, Now, are you planning on reaching out to any of them or are they going to reach out to you or are you just going to... These are all people that I've already talked to last year. Yeah, so um, they're going to... So yeah, I mean, I... I don't plan on, you know, knocking on everybody, no, calling I everybody just didn't beforehand. Know. I, if we go out, you know, in next month or whatever, you know, it's like, you know, I might knock on the door again, hey, remember us, yeah. um, or whatever. Okay. Um, just to establish contact again. Is but, calling the police? Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. wait. <laughs> are they pulling a hey, weapon? Wait. Let yeah. Me, let, me, let me give you a card. Yeah. This is who we are. Yeah, yeah now that we have cards. Yes. Um, I'll email, email that to everybody sooner than later. Um, Thank you. And, and I will also send you the uh, the cemetery list that I have. Um, it's only had a couple of new entries or whatever since, like, last fall. Um, and, and one thing I did start doing was uh, all the ones that are firefighters as well. They're, they're, I, yeah, I have a list. Um, I, think, I think the list was in here. Um, so now that we got flyer, firefighter flags yep. and stuff coming in. Um, Say that fast ten times. Yeah. Um, well, that'll be good to know. Because the other one that we have war veterans and we have, is it fire and police or just no, fire? No, we just have fire. This we only had one police officer, and I don't know if he's buried in town or not. I'd have to ask. It's been that long ago. I'd have, I'd have to ask. But those are the only I know of right now holders that they yeah. write. <coughs> they do fire. Uh, they do all sorts of stuff. Oh yes, um, they do. They do firefighter and yeah, firefighter and, and uh, police department. So I know when they do wreaths across America, it's not only all the branches of the service, but there's also police do you and fire. Remind me, fire. Tracy. Gets, remind me about that after wreaths. Uh, Uh, flagging dates. Uh, uh, all the 
flags need to be out by Memorial Day, so the end of May. Um, I don't don't count on me on it. I would love to take a whole weekend and hit everyone. I, I know that's not going to happen with my second second job and all. So I mean, we could divide and conquer. Um, you know, I could hit stuff on the way home after work during the week. Um, I don't. I, yeah. So I don't know what availability I have to to meet up specifically right now with anyone. Does anybody? I I myself won't be here Mother's Day Memorial or that are this are the or any of that. I can do it. Like you, I can either do it during the week, or if you want to pick sooner versus later. I mean, I know where most of them are. I can. Yeah, yeah, I know probably 95 percent of them. Yeah, um, I mean, I, I mean, I don't. It, which end sounds easy for you to hit, Steve? If you're coming home, south end or north end? Uh, south. Um, but I mean, I live up in North Chapel, so I could just go up Shady Nook and hit the north part too. So mm -hmm. it's. I'm just asking. I would like to really to get together so we can go together. Yeah. But I don't know what what dates are you talking, or do you have any dates that you have free? Um, I'm my, just asking. Yeah, the like my weekend days are random, I guess. You have any evenings? Yeah, yeah. So after work during during the day, um, if what I'm time? not commuting with my wife to work, um, I could you know get here you know at four ish. And you know, knock out an hour's worth of that. Um, it sounds like that's probably going to end up being, you know, yeah. what we're going to have to do. Well, I know <clears> because I mean, you know we don't have, you know, we don't have a, an extensively long period of time to get it done before well, the end of May. I know and we're all busy <laughs> when we're doing so it. I, I, it we, takes two days. That's so I did it that one time, and it, you know, I did half a Saturday, and we only yeah. hit you know a third of them. As a rule, it takes two days. And you replace all of them? We replace all. Well, this is the rule of thumb that we usually use. We replace them all if we feel it's necessary. The ones in the woods, a lot of times, do not need to be replaced because the sun does not get to them sure. in the fray. Yeah. But if we feel at that time it needs to be done, we'll do it. It all depends if we've done it the year before or not. A lot of times when they're out in the woods, nobody bothers them, nobody sees them, they look beautiful, we leave them. Because it's a dollar a flag, obviously, roughly. Um, I mean, I, 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 I know where, like I said, most of them, like I, we got one that I told you we're going to have a time finding. That's going to be, that is a veteran's. The only thing I can think of is go and knock on the person's door and, like I said, see if they can help us out a little bit. Uh, we can divide and conquer or we can actually meet, um, here some evening or some Friday night or something or... You know, or Friday nights too. Yeah, um, like tomorrow would be actually pretty good for me because my family's down in Mass after after school and stuff. It's to rain. Yeah, it's supposed to rain. So I mean, I'm not gonna melt, but I mean, if you guys want to, no. I mean, depending on how how bad the rain is tomorrow, but pack a trailer. Yeah. All right. Um, I mean, I could be with you, know, Up you, know, to? you guys and just start, you know, and just start going. Because like oh I said, God. we can meet we can meet here and just go either left or right. Don't matter to me. Because yeah. I let I, well I I well, the last group I went with the last time I went I don't waste time I do it flag it and get going. Yeah. The other group likes the golly lag I call it and <laughs> so I'm a type I go out and get it done and get back in. So doesn't matter if we start on that end or this end. We. Well, he's just Flip a coin. Um, Make a decision. Let's. Uh, I'll, 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 I could be here a little after four tomorrow. Okay. Um, wanna, you want guys want to plan that, or is it a problem? We have to pick a trailer. Yeah. So They're out of the loop. But yeah, I can be here. I got 144 flags right now, so. Um, no, you could assign one to us too. We can hit. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I can talk to you guys afterwards. We can. Yeah, just assign a couple to us, and we'll go down. We, there. Yeah, so where are you, you going to start? Do you, what, do you got, what do you guys know? Other than where you're at, that would be her. I live in Acton. Yeah, I know a lot of them. <laughs> you know what you guys could do, and it, it would save me actually a headache and time. Maple Grove. He wants to do all because of Maple Grove. Because if you do all of Maple Grove, it's it's right there. It's a hundred flags anyway that I know of. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, and actually that would that it would. It takes the longest. Uh, believe it or not. Um, and actually, my cemetery list has not been up really upgraded for that. 
Um, what we usually go by is the old flags that are in the in in there, or if the holder. Mm -hmm. And if the, and if something changes, I'm sure I'll hear about it in, when we have our meeting. So that's nothing I'm not worried about. Or somebody will approach me and say, X, Y, and Z got a new flag. How come we didn't? So we could plan on giving you like 105 flags, 110 yeah, flags. That's fine. Yeah. Now, do you guys want to hit the, also the um, uh, bracket cemeteries where you work at both of them, one in the back, one in front? Yeah. yeah. I'll give you a flag holder for. Uh, oh, yeah, L Rufus. Not yeah, Rufus. Goding. Goding. Is he Luther? Luther, Luther Goding, okay. yeah. So you'll get one of the generic ones yeah, that we so have. Yeah, so it's not sticking in the ground like that. Because yeah. it's probably not sticking in the ground now. It's probably yeah. flopped yeah. over from um, the snow. So uh, when I send you out the, the, the cemetery list, it'll have obviously have Maple Grove in there. But like the ones that I know are vets, there's got to be probably twice as many. But I don't know. So if you come across somebody in here. So we'll mark it down. Let so me know. We'll make yeah. a list. Cool. Yeah, okay. I'll probably take some and snapshots. And actually, in your, in your book, yeah. in that green book, it should have your list of, of, your, of your cemetery. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's in there. It's in there. Um, I'll send oh, you a new one, though. I got an electronic yeah. copy. So. Yeah. <clears throat> so, we'll so you really don't have to send out any if you don't. Unless yeah, you that list, though, I mean, that was from like a year ago. And yeah, but we, I don't, we, haven't had, we haven't had any new burials down there. Maybe not new burials, but uh, as but far as like, locations and stuff. Uh, but we, we, I don't have any veterans. Because I, I would have gotten notified because they usually tell me I have to get placards well, that, that That list, is it a site map or is it just a list? Just a, just list. a list. And I don't even know if Maybe it's alphabetical it or... So if that's acting yeah. just up the road, it'll have... Because if we're going through that, I've made site maps for graveyards oh, before. Oh, like... Uh, yeah, so I'm just saying that. we can just map it out over yeah. there with a pencil. Maple there. Grove is really easy, but it's long. It yeah, and that's fine. Map out with a pencil, it'd take us like. And do yourself no, a favor. Like, if you guys are going out there, bring a pair of scissors and um, something to cut. You might have to, and something to, and something to cut the um, the, the dowel. The dowel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because uh, I did order some the thinner ones. The eighth inch mm -hmm. dowels. So um, I have the thicker ones in the car. Yeah. So yeah, I've I've had to trim some down before, but if we do get the, the thinner ones in. You know, we, you, you can either hold off on put, replacing that or, uh, or or trim it down. So. And if you happen to catch, and you shouldn't, but if you happen to catch one without holes, just mark it in the book or something. We'll deal with it after. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll plan to do that sometime. I don't know, next week or the week yeah. after. And you said you had flags. You had flags in the back of your truck. Yeah, I have a few. Yeah, but I, got from I think Steve. he's. No, I'm talking about Steve's truck. <laughs> you yeah, had, I got, you I got the new some. ones. I got 140. And, and I got a ones. few from you already. Okay. All right. So what you're going to do is, you know, so you're going to do Maple Grove? Maple yeah. and the both brackets. And both brackets. You know, it'll be probably sometime next week. Okay. Got something going Monday and Wednesday, but we'll squeeze it in there on a nice day. and. Hopefully we have some. Yeah. It's supposed to be like 80 by middle That's of next week. Yeah. It's a little too warm to be out there in the Actually, cemetery. But true. <laughs> All right, next thing is uh, the next meeting date. The last, last meeting we had, we had talked about maybe during the summertime, maybe only meeting once. Just that be... I know if we're going to have one in May, the only date I've got free if it's towards the end of the month is the 24th. Let's yeah. see. And is I, that a, a that's Thursday? That's a Thursday, but it's not the last Thursday because I'm not going to be around the last Thursday. But it's up to you guys. I mean, we can get together. If we just matter getting flags and working, we can do what we have to do. So, be the 31st. It would be the 31st. So yeah, I mean, I don't have a problem with May 24th. Would that be all right? This would probably be the last one we'll have unless we seem renewable that we need to have another one. 24th sounds good to me. Yeah. Same time. Yeah. Sure. Alrighty. And if we have to have something in June, you know, we can... Uh, Work at it at that point. Well, we can, you know, it may be that we want to have a little short, you know, uh, gathering in June so that, you know, uh, everybody, you know, gets apprised of, you know, how the town meeting went, what was approved, or if there were any issues. Uh, like I said, I don't anticipate having any issues with us mm -hmm. as far as the cemetery committee is concerned. Because yeah. yeah. my, big, my uh, biggest thing is, is that... Like you guys, when summer arrives, I usually pull in 20 directions and 
Yeah, it's already starting, and yeah. it's only April. And I know, and I know May is really tough for us because it ju it's just not an easy, an easy go. Because, um, like I said, I have to maintain Maple Grove. I have to do my, whatever my husband would like to do because he's got vacation this month, and so on and so forth. And then you guys, I imagine, you're out straight. So if we can hand, if we want, if you want, you and I can handle some of that tomorrow. I don't care if, if which end of town he asked which end of town we went to start. You want to go start at Rollins in so he can see what's going on. We can pick him up. Or okay. He can meet us or. If it's what are we talking about tomorrow night? Tomorrow night four o'clock. Can you do it or not? <sighs> no, let me think. Let me think. Let oh, me think. Get wife. To get up there, I, I, I'd probably be there because I get out at three thirty in Kenny Bunk, so a like quarter after four or so. No, you have to go get. Yeah. Uh, no, he, he won't be like He's gonna go get Sharon. Sharon's gonna be at the airport. So you and I. Unfortunately, my wife has been gone. Uh, as of tomorrow, uh, nine days. Um, she went to Phoenix, Arizona, and then from Phoenix, she went to um, Austin, Texas, for bank business. So. And she's coming back tomorrow at midnight. Ooh. So that's kind of a, you know, yeah. I'm going to, you know, because I, I don't, well, my grandson, you know, I will have my grandson tomorrow during the day until my sister gets up there. Uh, and, uh, you know, I also take care of my wheelchair bound father. So, you know, between grandson, father you know, once my sister gets up there because she usually shows up about noon time you know, then there's two of us you know to deal yeah. with yeah. running do you want me feet. <laughs> to meet you on h road or do you want me to meet you over at man road by down so we can hit those two cemeteries yeah, meet at man road. Man road? Well, speaking of man road do you know anything more about that one that's off h road near man road uh, some oh. down some driveway you were saying down hmm. there by um, horns she her husband just passed away who are you talking about where are you talking about H road what about the H road mrs. horn her husband dick horn has passed away remember the fence comes across they have a, she has a are you talking about the road that goes in across the street from Anderson's Cove yes no, I have not been able to catch. Uh, I, I should have done it when I saw somebody coming out, okay? And I had already, you know, I mean, you're driving down the H road, and you go, huh. You know, and I've already passed it, and, you know, I'm halfway down the road, and, you know. Uh, but there is activity up that road as far as, you know, I mean, it's not always uh, chained across. I'm hoping that one day I'll be able to drive by there. Oh, the chain's down. Let me drive up there and scope it out. Find out what's up there. Uh, and obviously, you know, introduce myself. And, is there a know. residence up there? Yes. There okay. is a, there's an old farm up there. Um, she just lost her husband. The road is, uh, is oh, maybe a quarter of a mile from the H road to the actual farm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it takes a few minutes for you to drive in there. And then, you know, you go this way, that way, and then you make a turn to the left, and suddenly, <gasps> where the hell did all this come from? You know, and there's a farmhouse, there's uh, several other outbuildings. Um, it's been a long time since I've been up there. Um, but, you know, there's there never used to be power out to that house. That house never had power. And the power was run out, uh, I want to say, three or four years ago, where Central Maine came in. And, you know, you know, obviously the person who owns the property had to have it done because it's, you know, a private road. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, I have to cut you off. We're getting another meeting. Unfortunately, we have a meeting waiting behind. Oh, do we? Okay. Um, is there anything yeah. else that we want to accomplish? That's Steve, I'm going to meet you at Man Road. Can you text me? Let me know when you're on your way. Yep. It's going to take me probably 20 minutes to a half an hour. 
Jay, if you need us, you know where we're located. The flowers fit the flags. Are you getting them? You have them in here. You have them now? I got a box now, but we got more on order, so. Okay. So he's going to give you them. Let, yep. Just get a hold of me. Either way, you leave an email to Steve saying, hey, we got Maple Grove done, or yep. we yep. got the yep. other one yeah, done. We'll give you an update. And, and if you think of it and we ain't got down there, you can also you can go to Stacy Cemetery. You know where that was located. Mm -hmm. That was and you could also and you could also go to. Um, I'm hungry. What's his name? Watson's. Those are the only other two that are right in the neighborhood. Yeah. In the neighborhood. <sighs> so Motion to adjourn. Second. So be it. I can talk to you guys outside.